Good afternoon, YouTube. Hey, it's yard sale time again. <laughs> hey, if you're into it, I'll flip you around and I'll show you what we picked up. Let's do this. All right, not a bad day today. Nice and cool. Uh, weather is good. It's definitely slowing down. Definitely slowing down pretty soon. Probably in the next three weeks, it's just going to be a state sale. We're going to have to hit a state sale and thrifts, uh, and of course the flea markets. So that'll, that'll keep us going. But uh, um, yeah, let's take a look at it, and I'll show you what we got. I got a couple cool things. All right, first thing, two dollar uh, Coleman little folding stool here. I think it's a Coleman. Oh, I hope it. I hope it's a Coleman. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cool little guy, and I sat on it. it it's good. Uh, and then check this out. These are a dollar, dollar each. Not 100% what sure what they are. I'm sure they're boat seats. I thought that they were maybe backs, like the the backside of like a, a, a special boat or something. But the guy said no, you sit on them. So I don't know. I, I have to check it out. These are, uh, I'm told, are for uh, an RV, and uh, they expand, so they're threaded. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what I would use these for, but uh, I've got some ideas. Uh, I don't have an RV, but uh, I've got some ideas of how I might be able to make use uh, of those. Got this really cool set of uh, shabby chic wall shelves but the cool thing is this is this bucket this is cast iron I guess those are goats maybe that's pretty cool and I noticed down here that they paid they paid 150 bucks for this so that'll be interesting I'll take that down to the booth and sell this as a kit I don't know maybe 80 bucks uh, <clears throat> Got a really nice Wilson uh, hockey helmet. Uh, this will go good. I'll probably get, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks for that. This is an old um, Romer Helm motorcycle. This is a, a vintage motorcycle helmet. Uh, pretty cool. Got that. And I think this, this might be a Buco. This is a motorcycle helmet also. I'll get these listed up. There's probably, I'll, I'll probably get. I don't know, 100 to 120 bucks for these three helmets easily. This has a stain on it right there. This this is thread. That'll come off. That's just uh, something that's on there, but there's the stain. If I can get that stain out, this is a Levi's uh, corduroy. You can see that the stamping is still good in there. You see that in there? This th this These corduroy hats go for good money. I'm going to try it. It might even be worthwhile to take to the dry cleaners and see if they can. But I paid a buck for that. Uh, I got this interesting. I bought this at first just for the straps. The straps are cool. But this is a, a apparently just like a thing that you can, I don't know, make a handle on anything. Right? That's kind of cool. A nice little uh, vice. A Tumi luggage. This is uh, for you know putting on your backpack or your suitcase for ID. This anything with this Tumi on there is quality stuff. I got this Schrade Team Primos. I think this is a uh, made in, made in China, uh, but it actually is a nice. It was five bucks. I grabbed it, but check this out. Check this knife out. I've never seen a knife shaped like this. I'm sure it's for hunting, but check that bad boy out. Boo boo! It's got some rust on it. I have to give this thing some uh, a clean up. Look at that, pretty cool. All right, I got a, almost a full can of Neverdoll. A nice, uh, oh, what is this? Corning or Corel vintage uh, milk glass coffee cup. It's a porcelain cat and mouse tile that'll go good down at the booth 
this is uh, some uh, science slides, you know, like for uh, microscope. This is a neato little donkey. I love this guy. Um, I paid five bucks for that guy. It's old. I like this. Somebody cut the handle of this off. I think I'm gonna throw this in my in my go kit. This might not be a bad thing to have around. Um, found this in a box, uh, a Mitchell, probably 300 or 500 saltwater reel guide. I got a striker, and I think you can chip off some of this magnesium to help start a fire. I got a Texaco tanker. This is a Super Kings Matchbox, 1973. And uh, this will probably, this someone's, someone has the truck and someone's looking for the back end. A little mini pocket extra sketch, 50 cents, go down to the booth. A gas uh, uh, fuel tank bottom. This looks like an IH uh, fertilizer dump. This is definitely vintage and it's made in USA right here on the side. It says Ertl Comp, Ertl Co. Uh, Dyersville, Iowa, and uh, the little or corn crib or silage uh, uh, goodie. Uh, oh, this is for gerbs. Action. This is cool. This might show up in one of my videos uh, at some point. Uh, look at this. The Sure Gripped Camp, Camp Stove Toaster. This was a buck, and I don't think it, I don't think it was ever used. Ever. So that's cool. I love the art. Uh, I got this to put in with my uh, condiment uh, collection. Here's an old puzzle. This is uh, 1974 Reese Games. Little desk puzzle. A little sandwich uh, Tupperware box. A hatchet. Look at this little. Look at this little guy. Glass top. Look at it. Look at it in, in my hand. This is a nice little percolator. It's missing the top top though. I just noticed that. Bummer. But I think I can, or maybe, I don't know. I think I could, I think I can find something for that. But that's kind of cool. I like that. This is, uh, I don't know, there's some matches in here. Some Coleman camp stove, uh, some honing oil. This little bag was in the free pile. This was in the free pile, a brand new thing of leather laces got this little frog riding a bicycle he was a quarter I met this guy he owned this company this is a bicycle mirror uh, that you put on your glasses or on your helmet and he handmade these and sold these for years and uh, I bought it from the guy uh, selling them he was like really excited that I was excited about it because I use these all the time oh check this out remember the fair You'd pop the balloons and you'd get the coke mirrors. Here we go. We got two perfect uh, candidates for that. And uh, I was happy to get them. Uh, I got them for two bucks a piece. Uh, those are definitely going to be selling on eBay. Ah, oh, look at this. The sad stove. Look at that, baby. It's missing its... Uh, oh... Oh, his little window material there. Got this for five bucks and it's missing its cap. But it, uh, the wick is in there and it's actually, it's actually in decent, decent shape. You know, it'll clean up really nice. All right, over on this table, we got this uh, vintage back massager. I got this out of the free pile. This is gonna make a nice little spirits bottle. Put some alcohol in there. I got a nice uh, Eagle Claw bait caster, a uh, pallet or a binding tool, uh, anchor, anchor hawking probably. Yeah, oh, the microwave safe, mixing bowl. This was in the free, free bottle or free pile, an old Coke bottle. I grabbed that. I like these little fishing poles for the grandkids. That's fun. Uh, I got all these pens and I got these laid out because I'm going to take a picture of these and put those and uh, list them. Uh, I'll list them all as a lot. Uh, but that's kind of this kind of little fun with these little gnomes. These are from 1980. 
I kind of like these guys. All right, a couple of old equestrian helmets. And uh, this is a another old uh, snow pine. I think they call this a newsboy hat, newsboy. Uh, I got a Kangol, an actual Kangol hat. These go for good money. Um, it's actually in decent shape. It's just got some uh, lint and stuff on there. I'll get those cleaned up. I'll probably take those down to the booth. This is some garbage. This is another Levi uh, hat that needs some cleanup. This I'm super excited about. Yeah, look at this. It's got all the eyelets. It's got the the crimper. Ooh, made in USA. Uh, and it looks like it's got all everything I need to do to like put eyelets on leather and different sizes. Keep this all together. I actually paid up. I paid five bucks for this kit. Uh, I, I don't know if you know this, but I collect these kites. I love supermarket style kites the the kites that you would get at the supermarket Ugh. at least at least in our supermarket this is a paper kite i'm not going to open them up but uh, i'm not sure what this one this one's a high flyer some of these some of these uh are actually uh quite collectible this thing this looks like it might be superman yeah that's superman and not sure what this one is, but so there's one, two, three, four kites. I got a monopod. Just need to find a top part to clamp onto a cell phone, but it's a, like a it's like a monopod for your your phone or your camera. And I think I think that's it. Okay, hold up. Bonus footage. Bonus footage. I have not looked this album up, but this album is mint. It, I mean, it, it, if it if it was played once, I'd be surprised. It's that cherry. Um, I need to look that up, but that's going into my collection. I got two huge boxes of um, fishing stuff, uh, and and not only fishing stuff, vintage fishing stuff. So I haven't even gone through all of this stuff, but it, it's it's good. It's good product. And then the guy gave me his uh, fire starting kits. So uh, we'll try these out. This is all uh, kit for uh, starting fires and stuff that he's made, pucks and things like that. So that'll be interesting to check it out. And then there's this box. So this guy was selling these fillet knives for $2. Okay, this is a Granton stainless Sheffield, England. All right. And uh, anyway, I offered them a dollar if I took them all. So I bought them all. And this is a Le Germain, LC Germain knife. This is a brand new, it looks like, Victoronix. Victor Victorionix. Oh, Cheesy likes that. that uh, Cheesy likes that brand. Look at all these fillet knives. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe the guy uh, worked on a boat or uh, up in, up in uh, Canada or something, you know, or was a fishmonger. Here's a Japanese one. They're all, a bunch of these are different. So I'll have to dig into this and see what I picked up there. But I think the, it was 20 bucks. I think there's 20 knives in there. All right, so bonus footage. I'll see you around till next time. I think that's it. I want to thank you for uh, sticking around and checking out the yard sale scores. Now I got to get this all processed and get it down to the booth. So I hope everybody had a great Saturday and I appreciate you sticking around and hanging out. And until next time, I'll see you around.